across it. Just make sure we get it right. Still I strive in order to survive. If I breathe, I'm alive. If I achieve, then I'm living. Lord willing. Cause everything's supposed to revolve around the Lord's will in some kind of way, some kind of nature. So um, I feel that I put rapping to a side and to do some real music and real lyrics and real heartfelt stuff. I ain't knocking rap. I listen to my rap music. I love my rap music. But when I want to display who I am, I got to bring it across in a manner that I can only understand it or I can give it and let you try to understand it. And it's not mimicking anybody's style, it's just speaking directly from within me to you. song on the radio and don't feel as if I got to do what that song say but if I lay a song I'm gonna do what I've been doing in that song and I'm gonna make it say what I've been doing to reflect my life and how things have been going for me personally yeah yeah strive on yeah 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 Feel like I've been helping a lot of other people and I haven't been getting the same help that I so gratefully deserve but all in all like I just need help I need support and support is help and real support not support because you think I'm going to give you millions of dollars when I get it support because my music touch you and you want me to touch others and you want to feel my dream roll it up what I know about that routine. Even when I do mixtapes, I'm not going to be the rapper that um, put freestyle behind it and act like I didn't write it and put thought into it. I, I would consider myself a songwriter nowadays other than a rapper or MC. So I attack beats or instrumentals with that manner to make a song, to re really replace your song. For real, no disrespect, but I try to replace your song. It's your beat, but that song would not sound like your song, trust and believe. When we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. Disturbed, just the feeling that you get, that you walk around and you feel you on edge, but don't nobody know unless you tell them. And even when you tell them, you just wondering if they listening to what you've got to say or how you really feel. So I just feel disturbed at times, and I feel that I had to just write a little bit out to it, Martin Luther King sample, so as soon as I heard it, I had to do something with that, because everybody glamorizing so-called leaders in the world, I wish I was alive to be marching with the king. Yeah, I'ma kill the game and invite witnesses, no death penalty, I'm giving life sentences, like keep running, boy, your life can change in one year, and even when it's dark out, the sun is shining somewhere. Shout out to J. Cole artist that influenced my music personally, not personally, but he influences my music. What he does is um, shed light on the negative through a positive situation. And it's not about uh, looking down upon your people, it's about uh, enlightening your people to what's really going on. And uh, Premeditated Remix is basically his track, Premeditated Murder, I added a nice 16 to it. I felt that it was a very fitting 16. It's one of those mixtape tracks I did off of Still I Strive On, but I feel that I could keep it going because it's like, it's nice. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it's nice to me, so I hope it's nice to you. Mind in the days, head in the clouds. I'm working on blowing up, right now I'm coming down. You know, everybody talk, 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 talk. Talk about do the right thing, talk about do the wrong thing, but bottom line, just get to it. Just get down to business. Yeah, you go let somebody know, but um, they say um, actions are better or stronger than words these days. So I try to tend to put my best foot forward and practice what I preach and snap to it, you know?
Sacramento, California. I've been known to come back and forth here and I ain't no stranger to that goodness. But uh, yeah, I partake and I feel that you should partake too. But if you don't want to partake, more power to you and more power to me because I'm going to do what it do and uh, let it blow. You got stress, something on your mind, just let it go. Like That's all it is to it. Like People act like smoking weed is such a bad thing, but remember, alcohol was once illegal. Tobacco was once illegal. A whole lot of this shit, bitch, fuck, shit you hear on the radio was once illegal. So don't let nobody monitor your life. If you feel that you can do it, do it to it. Like, don't be influenced to do it, but if that's the decision you made, shit, let it blow. Blast Off was originally titled Take Off, and I extended it to Blast Off because I introduced the dude Star, which I hope that y'all be hearing more about. I hope my man is working. So, uh, yeah, just about uh, going away. Don't belong where you at. Try to get up. Try to get off. You know, take off, blast off, be on another level than you were yesterday. Like everybody say, um, product of my environment and everything like that, but um, it's America. It's not only America, it's the world. And don't nothing limit you from getting up and going out here and seeing the world. Even if you want to be confined to that little world that you are confined to, that's cool, but it's a big world out there. And... I just feel the need that I gotta take off and blast off and go see it all. DC got you. Merlin got you. The whole damn V got you. So you ready? Cause you got this. You gonna have my back in case I fuck? Or, 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 or are we running together for no reason? Cause nowadays, you only as strong as your weakest link. And these days, I don't try to keep attached to no links because I don't want nobody mishaps to be my mishap unless I know that they really truly going for the glory and I can stand behind them wholeheartedly and take that blow with them because I know we got to take something to get something to move up. So, yeah, have my back in case I fall because I'm striving hard. Nothing else matters. I'm focusing on something that's better. Praying I can get myself together, dear God. All I need is support. All I need. Love, I don't need that hate. Like, all I need is this music, all I need is my life, you know. All I need is Jesus, you know. Like, things that all I need really, really, really need and want, and that are important to me in life, those are the things that I try to strive for and put my faith in and put my trust in and be loyal to the things that I need, not the things that I want out of life. Like, I, I didn't have a lot of things that I wanted already, and I want more, but. I'm content on the things that I need and things that's gonna put another person needs in order to. This is for my youngins out here. Yeah. I just wanna let y'all know that I care. Yeah. I done been there and I done done that. You don't have to go do all that on your own. Like, like Pac said, it was just him against the world as he felt, but I feel that um, power in numbers, it could be me and you against the world. but. Like, it's all about that loyalty, that trust, that family, that foundation. So, if that structure's set right, you know, we can take on anything, me and you. A lot on my heart, enough on my mind, a load on my plate. A chip on my shoulder, a dream in most eyes, a chance I must take. Wale, no lie, got me on my own poems, like... Not got me on my poems, but I admire his work when he when he do his poems. Cause it's one thing to say rappers are poets, but uh, not every rapper is a poet. But if you put them words together and you deliver it in a form that is poetry, then I guess you being a poet. But I would like to say that this is a prayer, like DMX would do on every album of his. Even at your downest moment
moments in life, don't worry about it because you wasn't worried about it when you was all the way up there. So, like, just don't worry about it. Don't get weary. Don't give up the fight. Just have your faith intact. Have your goals in order, your priorities straight. And don't worry about the small stuff because the big stuff is going to outweigh that any day. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, but I'm not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah. Press yeah. on. While others sleep or think they sleeping on me, um, I work, you know. Like, I'm not here to prove nothing to you personally, but I'm here to prove it to myself. So, and get this up out of me that I got somewhere deep down inside. So, like, I'm tired, but... Like, don't get weary. I ain't giving up. Like, it don't matter what they say. The critics, the haters, even the fans, even the people with their biased opinions. Don't matter. However you want to bottle that up. Don't matter what you say or do. Because one man shot, for real, I could do it without you. But I'd rather do it with you. But I ain't going to get tired for doing it by myself. special song to me personally because it's actually the second beat I made since I started making beats and and it just it just was one of those beats that that had that bounce to it that had that action to it so I feel like um, I was ready you know to be cued in to step out there in front of everything and and take on them lights and take on those critics and take on anything that come with this fame and fortune, but I'm just ready to take it on. Step out there in front of them lights. Yeah. 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 It is the man himself. Yeah. Yeah. People like to say they the epitome of things and they are this and I am hip hop. My name is Mecca, right? A lot of people may know what that means and how symbolic it is and how much weight that word carries. But my name is man even Christ could in mind. Music even Christ could in mind. So I feel with the epitome, it's like I'm not rapping, you know, like I'm trying to be the epitome of music, period, songwriting, expression, being an artist. Like the epitome of being an artist. Like like nowadays you got images and you got gimmicks. You don't have real artists. Somebody that's going to put a CD out solely based off the strength of their talents. Just like I say, growing pain. We all go through things. We all go through ups. We all go through downs. Sometimes people are there, sometimes they are not around. But you gotta grow, you gotta grow. You gotta die, you gotta be born, and you gotta grow somewhere in between all that. So I feel that I've been doing a lot of growing and this Lord willing is going to reflect my growth as an artist and as a person, period. Like if you see me, if you haven't met me, I'm pretty sure the way I'm coming across you right now is the way I came across you in the flesh. Like, like just honest without flash and a little sarcasm but confidence at the same time but it's just who I am and I'm fine by that it took a while for me to know who I was and I'm fine I grew into who I am and I'm gonna grow into something else but it's just gonna be a growth for the best you're the best man you are the king you are the king to let you know I'm back again and I'll be back when I leave and take a break again and I will always be around as long as music lives with death. I'm an artist, just a fan, a man with a plan. There's no I in team, but there is one in win. And when my time come, I'll be clocking in. Yeah, I am back again.